quite uh, you know, really proud of our football team. Uh, that was a game that I, that I think we needed. That was a game that uh, you know obviously we didn't do, we didn't play our best game. And there was a lot of things that we're going to need to get corrected. But but I got a chance to see the heart of our football team. Um, you know, going in at halftime, 21-21, you made a lot of mistakes uh, with penalties. Uh, you know, communication, some things that. Uh, you know, can, can cost you against a team that uh, you know, is, is talented. And I think I told everybody all week. I think a South Alabama team is a is a really good team, and uh, you could saw you saw some of the uh, the things they were able to do. They're very physical game, uh, but coming in from halftime really challenged our guys. Uh, an opportunity to go out and show what we're what we're made of. Um, you know, even even in the second half, uh, even though we didn't play a clean game, uh, they found a way to respond. They found a way to respond in every situation. Uh, you know our guys. Uh, you know they battled. It was a uh, it was a hard fought game. Uh, really pleased with uh, uh, the big guys up front on the on the offensive side of the ball. I thought they uh, uh, man that was that was a, that was a definitely a battle. It was a battle for 60 minutes and to be able to, to come out and I don't even know what we ran for, but uh, uh, you know to be over 250 yards rushing. Uh, you know good balance. I thought Brady played played exceptionally well. All the backs were able to contribute. Um, it was nice to see Coxie came up, uh, John Williams. I know there are a lot of singing a lot of guys uh, you know, out, um, but I was really pleased with that with, with that over that overall group. Um, but uh, we got a lot of things to, to clean up here in a short week. Uh, we we get back into conference play, going back on the road, uh, and it's it's going to be uh, you know every second we're going to need to utilize and uh, improving from what we did tonight. But uh, all in all, just uh, glad our team found a way to get the win tonight. Coach uh, USA came in. Everything 164 yards passing through the air. Give up 360 tonight. What were they doing uh, that caused you guys so much trouble? Uh, they did a good job winning their one on ones. Um, yeah, it was a, they've got a couple receivers that uh, have been playing at a high level the last couple of weeks, and I uh, thought they did uh, did a really nice job. Quarterback located the ball well. Um, you know, we you know, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to it's going to come down to one one on ones at times, and uh, you, we've got to we got to do a better job at trusting our fundamentals, and uh, you'll be able to get the ball out or down. And uh, but uh, you are guys, they kept they, they kept battling. Coach, did your halftime message change? Uh, it seemed to come out of the uh, locker room pretty fast pace and got some points on the board. Did your message change? From yeah, I mean, it was kind of like I said. I mean, it, we challenged them a little bit, but there was no. Uh, I, I, to be honest with you, I wasn't shocked. I expected this to be a game that was much like it was. And uh, you know, I, you know, obviously, you want to play, you want to play clean, and you know, you, you, know, you want to be able to execute at a high level. But you know, we needed that game for our football team. You know, we've had two games that we've jumped out, and you know, our, our first two wins were games that you know, we handled handled them you know pretty well early, and you know, played a lot of guys in the fourth quarter. We needed a four quarter game that we came out successful in. And uh, you know that was that was a, a, a great response for our guys. Uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with with how they how they finished and how they came out of the locker room and, and got the, got the job done. Two things. Can you take us through the decision to go for the fake punt in that crucial spot, and then also how 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 much do you think the momentum changed with the fourth down stop? No, it was it was big. You know the uh, the fake punt, something that we you know we had looked at it earlier in the game. You know we thought it was there. Um, you know and then. You know, looking at it, you know, I I still felt pretty pretty confident. Uh, you know, after after uh, you know we got the alignment with it. You know, obviously we didn't it d didn't work out, didn't execute it. But uh, yeah, that's part of who we are. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be aggressive at times. Uh, you know, it's uh, you know I every play is drawn up to, to work. You know, sometimes they, you know those guys do a, do a nice job of, uh, of of you you know making plays, and they did that at the time. Our defense came back out, and you know they stopped they stopped them. We got a big fourth down stop, uh, and then. With that sequence of plays, uh, with the fourth down stop and then a 96-yard or 94-yard touchdown drive, uh, that's what gave us a huge spark there moving forward. And so I was really, uh, you know, and that's it's part of it's it's part of the game. I mean, you can go back and look at every every play. I mean, I, I trust these players, and I know these players. They trust the coaching staff. Um, you know, you're going to take you're going to take chances at times, and uh, um, you know you're going to be aggressive in moments. But you know, those guys they had they had they had my back, and uh, you know I, I know that. Uh, um, that's something that we're going to continue to build off of and uh, continue to work on.
Coach, you had uh, credited the South Alabama defense throughout the week quite a bit, especially your defensive line. Uh, you know, to have five rushing touchdowns against them, put up almost 100 more than they had given up all year to any team. Um, what do you have to say about your run game in particular today? Well, I was, I was really, like I said, I was really pleased with the with the, with the old line, and I mean, the, you know, Joey Magnifico, um, you know, Tyce Daniel, who was filling in today. Um, you got more playing time. I mean, those guys, they they battled, and it was it was a it was a chess match. I mean, I tell you, that is an extremely well coached uh, football. <laughs> team. Uh, it, was, it was a fun game to coach in because of the back and forth, the sequence of what they were doing, what we were trying to accomplish. Uh, but I thought our running backs, you know, they all contributed. Uh, you know, uh, Tony with the, with the reverse for a touchdown. You know, Patrick with a strong run there at the end. And Daryl, you know, obviously having some big plays uh, you throughout the game. But, you know, these guys, that, they, they feed off each other. And uh, with, with that group, you can see the confidence that, that, we're have, that we have as an offense of you know, being able to establish run, and then you know what that allowed was you know a lot of the throws. You know, I thought Brady did a great job of managing it. Uh, I don't know what he finished up, you know, numbers percentage wise, but I mean he was he was doing a wonderful job taking his one on ones, and the uh, receivers were were putting themselves in the right position, and so uh, you know it, it, it was it was a well played game in that aspect. We saw Jackson Dillon um, go down in the second quarter, and it didn't look like he came back into the game. Is there any update on his injuries? No update right now. We had a couple guys. You know, we were down. Uh, I think it was four D linemen at uh, you know, throughout the game at some point. Um, you know, a couple of them didn't make it back. But uh, you know, we're, we're gonna have to reevaluate it as we get through uh, tonight, tomorrow. It's I think it's, uh, unfortunate we got a short week, and so uh, we'll we'll have to to see where they are and uh, you know move forward. But just like anything else, I mean, uh, when one guy goes down, somebody else has to rise up. And uh, you know, I know our guys they're gonna be excited to do that if if we don't get to have those guys back uh, for this week. How do you think Brady did with his pretty close snap rates? Uh, I thought he did really well. I mean, uh, you know, he uh, had, yeah, he executed at a high level. I mean, you know, he's 20, 22, 29. Uh, a lot of that was, you know, you know, even in the drop back game, thought he went through the progression. Uh, the two two minute situation, there were a couple things that, uh, um, you know, that, that was the only time that. Yeah, I thought he rushed maybe one or two two things there, but uh, you know I thought he locate, located the ball pretty well for the most part. You know, just, I mean there was a couple game, a couple plays that we'd like to have back, but uh, you know put our guys in a in a good position and um, you know the thing that see he's done a remarkable job of is uh, you know going through it and no interceptions. I mean he's owning the football. Uh, you know is, he keeps doing that. We put we're gonna put ourselves in position to win win a good number of games. How do you decide, Mike? If they're loading the box, how do you decide whether we're gonna go strength against strength or whether you're gonna take? Pass that's there. Is it? That's a that's a great question. It's a that's part of the chess match and, and trying to make sure that you're you're putting your guys in the best position to be successful, um, but but also um, you know taking what they give you. And at, at times that's what was was big on some of the uh, some of the pass plays that we got good action. We, we were able to bring the safeties down. You get the one on ones and you got to trust your players. You got to trust that uh, you know Coxie or Pop or whoever the receiver are, receivers are going to win their one on ones uh, and that the quarterback's going to going to put the ball where they where they need to put it. And uh, that's what that's what made me proud tonight is that it was a it was a great I mean, to be in that game and how it's going back and forth and just the physicality of it. They're stacking the box. They're doing different things up front. And you know, for our guys to execute at a time that you know it was it was absolutely necessary. But that's that is a, that is the great uh, the great question. And uh, you know, for us, you know, that being able to establish the, the run game, it, it does open up a lot of those possibilities. At the start of the second half, when you came out and you fed Daryl Henderson a lot and ended up with a touchdown pass, I think was that. We're going to run it no matter what, or was that? Uh, well, was, we, that was that taking what the defense did? It really was. I mean, we were able to formation a little bit things that we had seen in the first half that we wanted to try to try to get to, and um, you know, I, I think it was a little bit of both. I mean, you know, we, we wanted to be able to run the football to try to get that established coming out of halftime, but we also felt good that uh, we were able to we we're going to be able to create some things schematically that would give us you know give us good numbers as well. Riley made that field goal after he missed the first one. Um, how much confidence do you have in him going for? Because I know last year he had some misses down the stretch. Um, I've got a lot of confidence in him. I mean, uh, you know, obviously, uh, <laughs> you know, last year is last year. A lot of things happened last year that uh, you know, don't don't affect us. You know, here moving forward, uh, you know, we did have he did have a miss, uh, you know, there early in the game, and he responded like I fully expected him to. And uh, you know, Riley's a great kicker. He's going to do a wonderful job for us. Uh, you know, and we're we've got, we've got all the confidence in the world in him. Okay. So thank you. Guys.